Hi everyone, marigolds are one of my favorite plants for several reasons, but some of my top reasons is because it offers a beautiful color to your yard. They're very easy to grow. They're very low maintenance. And the fact that you can um, extract the seeds out of the marigold and keep planting them year after year. Now I want to share with you today how to exactly extract the seeds from the marigold. Now you can either buy one marigold plant and you should never have to buy them again or if you have a friend or a family who has marigold ask them can you deadhead a couple of the dried flowers and you'll have you'll never have to plant them again. Now before we get started also check your what I consider or what I call the dead and dying rack at your local home improvement store. Now some of the flowers definitely need to be tossed but that's not my call but I always check this rack because sometimes they have plants on there that just need a little tender loving care like the one you see here. Now those above I think they need to be tossed but again that's not my call but don't neglect to check back there because sometimes you can find some good deals depending on the day of the week. Okay, now if you don't know anyone with a marigold plant, you can go a less expensive route and you can buy one seed packet of the marigold and you can plant them yourself. Now, you definitely have to have patience for the seeds. Um, a lot of times we see the plants in the store and we want them just like that. Now, I definitely don't mind starting from seed, but you can definitely go this route. Once you get the plant established and get flowers, you should never have to purchase marigolds again so let's get started okay so here we are in my backyard and I am going to try to get done quickly because I'm telling you guys my neighbors across the way um, like on the other street they have been out here a long time like with the weed eater and the lawnmower and it's like every time I try to film <laughs> they start the lawnmower up again or they start the weed eater but it's okay it's been really raining and you know you just got to get out here when you can but let me just show you um, the marigold that I planted with the seeds now these um, I planted these like maybe in February and normally I will do a floor arrangement starting in the spring and keep it the spring and summer with maybe three or four types of flowers but I just had so many marigold seeds I just took the seeds sprinkle them in this pot and just covered them with a little potting soil and this is what I got now I did um, purchase this dracenia here to kind of give it some height but I am going to have to pull um, this up because as you can see it's getting a little leggy for me it's broken off um, right here and um, it's a lot of gaps and spaces and that's okay but let me show you how you can um, deadhead do you see all of these flowers right here that are dead and dried up so basically we're just going to take these off of the plant and this inside of here and I'll show you this is where your seeds are and it comes with so many seeds but before we get started with that let me show you my pot on the other side like the difference um, between once it gets leggy because marigolds are an annual but they do have a lot of benefits um, they kind of keep away pests and I was reading online where they also have a bunch of medicinal benefits too but I just love it for the colors and let me just um, tell you this also when you buy like a hybrid plant of anything you may not get the same and when I bought the marigolds I think I want to say I bought this color here because it was kind of like a rust and an orange so I got some yellow as you can see here and um, so you may not get the same every year but you know the seeds are free and so they still look good to me just the colors um, scream summer to me and I will plant a few of um, and hoping that they'll come like I had these in one of my fall floor arrangements because it's kind of like a burnt orange but let me show you the other pot really quick so I can show you the difference um, with all the spacing okay so here is my pot on the other side and as you can see the difference there are no spaces hardly in there and I'm kind of zooming in because 
It's a lizard somewhere right here. It's a lizard. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But um, that is the difference. Now, most of these um, did come like when I first bought them with the burnt orange. There are a few that don't have as much orange, but still, um, they are nice and they are really easy and very forgiving. This is a plant um, where if you forget to water it for a few days, um, it's okay because they are really, um, they're really easy to take care of. Okay, so let me show you another example on what I mean by a hybrid plant. Now, right here you see a tag that says Lunchbox Red um, Peppers, and I had bought those, and they're supposed to be like the little snack-sized peppers. So I will go over here, and I'll show you on this plant, and it's down at the bottom, I got a full bell pepper. And it's because it's a hybrid plant. And some of these peppers here are going to be bigger than um, the size that they say. But that's what happens when you, um, you know, buy a hybrid plant. You may or you may not get um, what you're supposed to do from year to year. And that goes for this marigold that I planted here. This is like totally different to me than the other one. But it's okay because they were free seeds that all I had to do was deadhead so I am going to go back over to the marigold plant and I'll show you um, how to extract the seeds okay so I'm going to try to get as close and clear as possible but do you see these dry plants right here this is what we need to remove all these dry plants or flowers that have bloomed and now dried up and I have a lot of them on here. So basically what I do is um, I just kind of pinch them with my hands. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's what I do. And they come off really easy. Now later on, what I'll do is I'll come back out and I will get my shears and just kind of trim off um, the dead stems on it. But for now, to show you how easy it is, I just take it, pinch it, and it comes right off and I have a lot of them to do but what I will do is I'll do it later I don't want this video to be too long for you um, I'm just gonna pinch off a little bit more and then I'll show you how to extract the seeds okay so the wind is blowing just a little bit but we're still gonna keep going so I can show you the seeds I'll use this to kind of weight down my paper towel um, I just put it against this white background so maybe you could see the seeds a little bit better but basically this was where the flower was so you're gonna take this and just pull it and if you could see all of these little they look like little I don't know straws or something like from the broom now this is the flower right here so we're gonna push that over to the side and kind of get all of that out but I'm going to put it in my hand. If you could see, they're like little, I don't know, like little broomsticks. And they have like a, a black, they have black on one end. But these are all the seeds that you get out of there. And like I said, basically all you have to do is just sprinkle them in the, um, if you have a pot, you can sprinkle them in there. Or you can um, uh, sprinkle them in the ground and they will really pop up. And I just kind of open this here because here are some more seeds. You really get a lot of seeds out of one flower pot. All of these are seeds. And you just remove kind of like the flower part. And I have given these away as, as gifts. Um, what I'll do is I'll go online and print a nice um, seed packet and kind of personalize it. It's perfect for like a garden party if you want to give these out as favors um, sometimes I have a lot of pots um, laying around I'll just put some potting soil in there and um, just grow them and give them away to friends and families because like I said this this is a very easy plant it's very forgiving um, and it doesn't need a lot of um, attention that doesn't mean you can neglect it but it's not like some of my other plants and flowers that I literally have to come out here every day and um, you know do something with so again this is the flower part you're just gonna pull that out and it comes out very easily and then just open up this little flower pot and look at all of these seeds. 
seeds. Now these are just out of two of the flowers, the dried flowers that we pulled out. And you get so many that literally you will not have to buy any uh, marigolds again. You know, just give it, give it enough time. They are annuals. And um, so, you know, you'll have to plant them, you know, year after year. But if you have seeds like this, you can just sprinkle them down and they will definitely come back up. Just have a little patience. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the ones that we pulled off and then I'll come back. Okay, so while I am finishing up um, getting the seeds out of the other, um, I have three here. Let me just tell you really quick about how I learned about the marigold. It is from my good friend Brandy who I met years ago and she shared with me that her grandmother loved this flower and she loved this flower and it was just so easy to grow and she's the one who showed me how to pick these seeds out and to replant them and I'm telling you guys I have not um, the only time I buy marigold is when we are um, my husband is retired military but we stayed overseas a lot so whenever we got ready to move and come back to the United States you know you can't take um, live plants back with you so um, I had to you know give them away to someone but once I got back to the United States I immediately you know went to my local uh, home improvement store and I got marigold and I have not bought marigold since you know and it is just if you're looking for a particular color you know you may have to buy them but to me it doesn't matter I just love flowers anyway so that is how I learned about marigold because like I told you before we're from Georgia and I was accustomed to like azaleas and the elephant ear um, crab apple tree we had so many beautiful plants I'm telling you I wish I knew about um, technology and took more pictures because let me tell you my grandmother's yard should have been on someone's magazine cover and let me tell you when I, when they say you reap what you sow you do she was out there in that yard at least five to six days a week and it definitely showed so I am now done with just those one two three four and look at all the seeds that you got and do you remember seeing how many um, dried flowers we had so I will definitely have a lot but this is just from the four and like I said you take them you can um, store them um, normally I'll wrap them in paper towel and store them like in a Ziploc bag or you can just go ahead and take them and just kind of spread them out in the dirt again it's just that easy okay so one last tip make sure you know your planting zone before you actually plant the marigolds and you can do this by going to Google doing a Google search on my planting zone and all you have to do is enter your zip code and you'll know what planting zone that you're in so that way you can plant your marigolds at the right time of the year and as always thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and also share this video with your family and your friends so that they can enjoy the marigolds also and if you're not a subscriber we would love to have you as a subscriber again thank you so much for watching until the next video bye bye